Hello everyone, in this tutorial uh, I'm going to tell you how to do normality test using SPSS. For that we need to first go to analyze and then we need to go to discrete statistics and we need to go to explore. After that there is a dialog box which asks to input a set of dependent and factor list. Let's say our dependent variable is income um, and let's put it in that dependent list and let's say that our independent variable is uh, gender and let's put in that uh, list of factors. Now let's go to the statistics. So uh, in, in the statistics we can say the confidence interval by default it is set at 95%. Now let's go to plots. In the plots, we can draw different type of plots. Let's select histogram. Let's check this estimate lead diagram. And also, let's check this box which asks for normality plot with this. Okay, now let's click and continue. And now let's click on OK. Now you can see the output which tries to show the normality. Here, there is the test of normality, which is uh, the most popular test is uh, Kolmogorov Smirnov test. We can see the p-value. Here we can see that the p-value is less than 0 0.05. This means that the household income is not normally distributed. Because if the null hypothesis is uh, rejected, I mean if the alternative hypothesis is accepted, then the distribution is said to be not normal so it's not normally distributed it can also be clear from the histogram because if you see the histogram most of the distribution lies towards the left so this also provisionally tells us that the data is not normally distributed and also this, there is one assumption that the data should be normally distributed for each category of the independent variable so here for males as well as females, it's not normally distributed. You can see the Q and Q plot. So, when you see the Q and Q plot, the observed values are not symmetrical along the line. So, this also tells us that it's not normally distributed. <coughs> Sorry. And then there is another technique to look the normal distribution that is looking at the ratio of skewness and kurtosis with their corresponding <coughs> um, standard error. So here if you see the skewness value is 4.255 and the standard error of skewness is 0 0.43 the ratio is obviously greater than 1.96 and similarly for kurtosis the ratio of the kurtosis statistics with this standard error is also greater than 1 per 96 and similar is the case for the females. So by these outputs we can infer that the given distribution is not normally distributed. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Bye. -bye.